understand what is real, man. No bling, man, just a bling blam. Make you fall hard like some big yams. Stick the wings, man. Who could take the pain? Yes, people, welcome to another edition of ITL.com's 3 Minute Rant. Um, here we are again. What do you say? Here we are again, boxing. After all the wait, all the anticipation, all the little jabs at the Mayweather McGregor, all the talk about this being a real fight, what are we talking about? Controversial judging decisions again in boxing. Why? It's taken away from the fight. It was a great fight. It was a close fight. Don't get me wrong. It wasn't no fight of no century, fight of no decade. It wasn't even fight of the year, but it was a good fight. Enjoyable fight, intriguing fight. Had you on the edge, edge of your seat. Um, it was an interesting fight. Um, I personally had it two rounds um, to Triple G. Triple G winning by two rounds. Um, I, I, I gave Canelo five rounds. I gave Canelo the first two and the last three. With a couple rounds debatable. I think 12th, 9th and 5th debatable. But I had it 7-5 to Triple G. But the 1-1-8, one, 110 one, scorecard is absolutely horrendous. Under no circumstances can anybody justify 118 to 110 to Canelo. It wasn't even a 118, 110 to Triple G, let alone to Canelo. Triple G was, was pressurizing the whole fight. Don't get me wrong, as I said, it was a close fight, and a lot of the rounds were close scored rounds, very close scored rounds. But Triple G was pressurizing for the whole fight. Canelo did very well on the back foot. He, he slipped a lot of punches, he was countering well, but for me, he wasn't doing enough. Don't get me wrong, Triple G was, was coming forward, but he wasn't doing massive. But he was a pressure fighter. He was manoeuvring Canelo. If you watch the fight, Canelo was going from corner to corner to corner on the back foot. Corner to corner to corner. It's got to the stage where Canelo, I mean, um, Triple G was following around. Triple G was slow, personally. He, we wasn't really catching him with the, with the right hand like he usually does. Canelo was doing really well in slipping shots. And his, his defense really surprised me. But he wasn't really... The cleaner shots was by Canelo, but it was the odd cleaner shot. The odd cleaner shot. To personally, the cumulative, cumulative of the shots were coming from Triple G. None was really, really clear. Not clean, not, not, not clean, but this, under no circumstances did, did um, Canelo win. It was a close fight. Listen, if, 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 if it was a draw with a 1 1 5, 1 1 3 to Canelo, 1 1 5, 1 1 3 to Triple G, and 1 1 4, 1 1 4, I would, I would have disagreed, but I would accept the draw. And they said, oh, say a rematch. Even though it's going to be a rematch. But we don't want to see a rematch like this. This is the reason why the UFC has um, closed the gap considerably with boxing. Because of decisions like this. Boxing cannot keep having these controversial decisions. Like, it's a great fight. Great builder. Two great boxers. But what are we talking about? What is it all to talk about? Controversial, bloody judging decisions. This Adelaide Bird, she shouldn't be working ever again. It's, boxing has having too much of these decisions and it can't go on. There should be an overview commission to overview these, these decisions because it stinks, it absolutely stinks of Golden Boy. I'm not having it. Ridiculous boxing, absolutely ridiculous decision. Anyway, my turn. <laughs> Before, for sure. This is what I never heard before for real.